Seguindo a Jesus Cristo Nesse caminho eu não desisto Estou seguindo a Jesus Cristo Atrás não volto, não volto não Atrás o mundo, Jesus à frente Jesus é o guia onipotente Atrás o mundo, Jesus à frente Atrás não volto, não volto não And let's give to Jesus a beautiful round of applause. My friends, we are here in the presence of our God. And I want to call your attention because we are losing many blessings from the Lord. The book of Proverbs, I will start there already. In chapter 28, the verse is number 5. It says the following, Evil men do not understand justice. But Dr. Suarez, who are the evil men? Evil men are not only those people that are always doing evil to others, that steal, that shoot others, that lie, that deceive, that rob cell phones on the streets. All these are evil people. But the evil men sometimes are inside of church. Sometimes it could be me because the Lord God has already decreed so many things to us that belong to us that we do not seek to understand these things. We are losing the blessings. Look at what he said. Evil men do not understand justice. And why are they evil? See the continuation for you to understand. But those who seek the Lord understand all. They don't seek God. This is the truth. They want blessings, want to prosper, and God does prosper. But they don't prosper because they don't seek God's justice. What does it mean to seek justice? It is to seek what is inserted in the work that Jesus did on the Calvary. When he substitutes us, he, he, carried, he carried our sores, our diseases, infirmities, pains, iniquities, the chastisement for our peace. He suffered all of that. And then think, if he suffered, why should I suffer also? So that then I need to take an attitude. I need to go before God. But there are people that are afraid of getting closer to God because he then starts to bless and they will have to leave their wrongdoings. My dear brother, the busy, biggest blessing of your life is to get close to God. He blessed and leaves the wrongdoings because the wrong things bring evil to your life at the same moment and it will take you to the devil's lap for all of eternity. And he is so caring with the horns that he has, that trident he holds. Start fooling around that you will see how things truly are. So it says here, evil men, maybe it is me, maybe it is you. They do not understand justice. They don't want to understand. They are not worried. And sometimes when they need to, they do iniquities, evil things. And this is not right. When needed to understand, seek from God and you know, give a good example so that God may look at me and say what he said to David. I found David, he said, a man after my own heart. I have found Swadis, a man after my own heart. I have found Martha, Giselle, a woman, a lady after my own heart. Enrico, anyone. He wants to say exactly this to you. But people don't understand this and remain doing evil. When they remain doing evil, everything becomes difficult for them. Then someone receives some money here. All of a sudden, it's all gone. It seems like his pocket has a hole and it fell on the street. The bills, the bills and the coins and he couldn't hold anything. So let's seek because the one who seeks the Lord. Pay attention. But those who seek the Lord understand everything. They understand justice. That is his right to be free from evil. They understand the promises from God. They look at the Bible and the Bible opens itself for them. But why does this happen? Because they seek the Lord. Ask God this gift. The enemy will not be able to steal from you ever. And you will be a person that is blessed. Some all over the world. Amen. Let's hear the testimony from the people that are being blessed. Some from all over the world, some here from Brazil. Play it for me, will you? It is a privilege to be part of the story of so many people all around the world. We have been taking Jesus, and He changes people's lives. Thank you to your program, and thanks to God above, because it was Him who operated this miracle, and that took me out of depression. It was very strong, and it would never go away. I had a voice in my head that told me I was not happy and it would be better for me to kill myself. 
But I ignored this voice, I ignored those thoughts, and I placed myself in God's hands. And I watch your program every day because it is what I like to watch. I am from Cuauhtémoc, a city in Mexico, and I ask that God may bless your family, your house, your church, and thank you very much for everything. I give thanks to you, to the sponsors, and thanks to God above all. Amen. There are several campaigns, faith shows in various languages, and a numerous social media that we maintain thanks to your love for the work of God. Besides sponsoring for other people to listen to testimonies, listen to the sermons, uh, be freed, because we were freed listening to Dr. Suarez preach, and other people will receive this also, listening to him. It was through the faith show that I met the Word of God. If I arrived here because of another sponsor that was already sponsoring the program, then I'll also do the same. I'll be a sponsor. God truly touched my heart to the importance of helping this work because many people, as Dr. Suarez himself says, there were people that were close to committing suicide and turned on the TV. And because of the word, because of the faith show, their souls calmed down. Help people to get to know the Word of God, which is what saves, frees, heals, that gives strength, that takes people out of depression. There would be no reason for me just to get richer and richer without helping people, without saving souls, because the world here is temporary. The only thing that matters is salvation, not only mine, but of everyone. Today I'm a sponsor of this work that saved me. There are many people who never have heard the gospel not only here, but in the whole world. With a lot of love inside me, today I can say that I'm also a soul winner. The peace that the world needs is in Jesus, and blessed are those who promote this peace because they will be called children of God. And let's applaud Jesus, folks. Look, I will preach in a while about Isaiah chapter 1, starting in verse 10. But let me say one thing to the sponsors. This week is crucial for us. If you haven't gone to the bank yet, please go because we have commitments that cannot be postponed. We need to fulfill them. People that open their TV channel for us, radio, the programs that we do throughout the world, the ones that work that need to receive on their due date. So if you have not made a deposit, the bank is, is Ned Bank. You can go to any branch and tell the cashier, I would like to make a deposit. Write this down, please, for the branch code 103910. 103910. The account number is 101191-9540. And in the name of Jesus, we will make it for the glory of God. I was in Brasilia this week, and the meeting was really blessed. I never saw such great peace in a place. People were hungry for God, and Jesus operated greatly. Watch a little part of this meeting. This also will happen here with you in the name of Christ. Play it for me, will you? Dr. Suarez went to Brasilia for one more faith campaign. And there he motivated everyone to have a special day with Jesus. The faith in the name of Jesus will make the name of Jesus strengthen you. Why? So that you can be healed. Why? For you to change your life starting today. Today, you have the biggest opportunity of your life. Living the freedom in Christ, our brothers use the authority there is in the name of Jesus to be healed of all health issues. Since I was a child, I've had very serious problems in both of my arms. I couldn't even make a coffee. And my leg as well. Everything, everything. What about now, Sister Rosa? Now, I bent down 10 times already. So do it one more time. You could not do this, Sister no. Rosa. She couldn't even make coffee. Tell me, Alice, what did you suffer? I was all crippled, Dr. Suarez. I couldn't do anything with my hands. My fingers were tight. Everything was tight. My whole body was tight. I couldn't sleep at night. Your hips were not good. It all hurt. What about now, Alice? Now I'm better. Did you bend down, God. Alice? Oh, glory to God. <laughs> That's great. Can you open and close your hands? Yes, I can. Can you move your legs now? Yes. You may go, Alice, in the name of Jesus. And doing God's gym, many of them certified their healing. For more than a year, I had pain in this knee. The doctor said it was arthrosis. 
and my back, it was locked up right here. And now? I'm not feeling anything now. It feels unblocked. I don't feel pain. What couldn't you do that you do now? I can bend down now. You could not do that. No. And to walk with this leg, how was it? I Imitate limped. it. Like this. Now? Nivaldo, come here. Come here. Follow me here. Follow me up here. Let's all do the walk of faith. Let's all. What happened? What happened, Sister Nivalda? I feel like my knee. It seems like it's better now. Turn to the people. How was it? Like this. And now? This knee was like this. Look here. Oh, glory to God. It's been many years, six years, that I live suffering because of my legs. I walk for a hundred meters and I have to sit down. And now I'm not feeling pain anymore. Have you been down here today? Yes, I have. This is beautiful, folks. And I'll do it again. Oh, did you become a child again? <laughs> Look at this, folks. Look at this. I fell inside a can. Those painting cans. I went to take a vase blend and I didn't see that the can was behind me. So I fell inside of the can. It hurt my knee, my back. I almost couldn't walk. How were you walking? I was not walking. And now what happened? Now I got better. Now you can bend down. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. This is beautiful, folks. Go in the name of Jesus. Our biggest gift is to see the joy of those who are now free for the glory of God. Where God is, there are only good things, folks. Look, we don't have to say anything else apart from what is inside of the Word and what the Word says and believe in it. And if we believe, God will bless in the name of Jesus. There is no other way. I wanted to release faith here. Release the ship's cable. Let's stand up now, folks. Now I want everyone to open their hearts here. But look, I want you to sing truly. The lyrics will appear here. Oh, why should we doubt? I just wanted the sound to be in a good volume for us here. The sound so that everyone can understand and sing it very beautifully in the name of Jesus. Let's give him a beautiful round of applause. Hey, 
And to Jesus. A beautiful round of applause. You may sit down. Brothers, let's go to Isaiah chapter 1, starting in verse number 10. Look, the Lord God starts here with some strong statements. And be aware that he is speaking about us, not that we are literally committing the sin of this word. He says the following. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. They did everything wrong in Sodom. Men wanted to date men, women with women, and God then sent down fire. He ended up with this. And he is saying that when now, spiritually, we do things wrong, we are like the rulers of Sodom, people of Gomorrah. It was Sodom and Gomorrah and three other cities. Hear the word of the Lord and you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What is going on, Dr. Suarez? He starts to explain it in verse 11. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord? I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls, or lambs, or goats. He was saying that those things would end. Those sacrifices that existed in the Old Testament, in which the blood of animals that were innocent, in, in this case, covered the sins of the people. But there would be one day that his son would be compared to the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the Lord. He would shed his blood not to cover sin, but to take away the sin. My brother, today we have to live in a very different manner than of any of the Old Testimony with certainty. If we have accepted Jesus, it is an easy decision to make and very powerful. It is over. We don't have anything that links us with sin anymore. We don't need to endure any temptation, give up any space. We belong to God and we will be victorious. And we need to have that hunger, that thirst, as it says in the proverb that we already read today, to seek the Lord and then receive the blessings from God, understanding what is justice. God does not care, does not care at all, brother, to what church you belong, which denomination you go to. He wants you to belong to him, for you to find out what belongs to you in Christ and become a victorious person and do not accept at all any suffering, any wrong things. Because if you accept it, you are not in good terms with him. He continues saying the following. When you come to appear before me, who has required this from your hand to trample my courts. You came to appear before him because he has touched your heart, but not to deceive him with things. Bring no more futile sacrifices, vain, useless. He does not want this. What does he want? Incense is an abomination to me. Incense to God are our words, our praise. It is our spirit, like a censer, being swung before him, releasing a good smell that are our words. The new moons, the Sabbaths, and the calling of assemblies. He does not want any of this. 
What was the new moon? It was when the month started and they had a party to worship God. But afterwards, it became a celebration of other things too. They ate a lot and all of that. He wants us to understand that every single day, a new season starts for us. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. If you have failed until yesterday, you not, can, cannot do anything. You've already failed. If you have sinned, you have already committed sin. The only thing that you can do, the only thing that you can do is confess to God, ask for his forgiveness, and then he forgives your past, and you are cleansed. But there is no way you cannot live more than you lived. What matters is now, in the next few minutes, the day of tomorrow. And we need to prepare ourselves so that we can start a new life with God. I've always been a failure, Dr. Swadis. I was doing well, and all of a sudden I committed a sin. I walked away from God. Stop with it. Say, God, I don't want to be this person anymore. I want to be a person that will give you joy. Buy a Bible. There are Bibles that cost 10 rands, a little more than, a little less than this, or, or, or even a second-hand one that is the same Bible as the other ones. The word is the same. What is different is the binary. Some people like a leather cover, others like another. The word is the same and start to read it every day and practice it. You will grow so much in God's grace that you will be a blessing. He says, what else does he say here? I cannot, the Sabbath and the calling of assemblies, I cannot endure iniquity. What is iniquity? Lack of the same treatment to others. Sometimes you see a person that has a pretty face, you already smile. Then an ugly person comes, what do you want? Don't do this, no. Everyone is equal, folks. It does not matter the height if you have 2 meters or 1 meter 20. We are human beings, or even less than this. It does not matter. There are people just like you. I mean, the color of the skin has no value at all. This is a matter of climate of our ancestors. Some remained in a warmer place, others and also because of the food. And look at this now. I cannot endure iniquity and the sacred meeting. Let's do a consecration, but they do not mean it truly. The pastors, I will talk about ours. I won't talk about the others. No, I won't speak about them. You cannot organize a meeting only to bring people to the church. No, they need to do a meeting to bring God to the church, to bless the people. Then people come. It is this way that it should be done. It is through consecration. If you have a weak mind and are always thinking what you shouldn't, God, I don't have conditions of even preaching. I will consecrate myself to you. I need to look at the human being like you do important in your eyes and not with any other purpose. Continuing now in verse 14. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hates. It was not the purpose. The purpose was to start a new life, a new month, and live in the presence of God. They are trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. What does Jesus want? When the disciples were not able to cast out the demon from that boy, that had attacks similar to epilepsy. epilepsy. Jesus said, Oh, faithless generation. Do you think that Jesus was smiling? Oh, faithless generation. How long? No, he was serious. Oh, faithless generation. How long shall I be with you? Bring him to me. We need to consecrate ourselves to seek God, to truly believe so that God can operate the miracle. On the contrary, God will say to us really clearly on our faces, I am weary of bearing them. The new moon, the beginning of every month, your appointed feast, his soul hates. They are a trouble to me. God does not want anything that is heavy. People that are smiling, but inside have that spirit of, de of deceit. Recording stuff, producing material. One day I will release everything. Oh, son of the devil, stop with this stuff. Seek God and God wants to change your life. Your problem is that you do not consecrate it to God. If you do so, God will do wonders through you. This is what makes the difference. It is you following the word, consecrating yourself and seeking God in the right manner. When you spread out your hands, what will he do? I will hide my eyes from you. Look at this. God hides his eyes. I will not look. Because if he looks, he will fulminate them. Their hands are contaminated. Oh, dear God, just like the Pharisees saying, I praise you because I'm not like other men, liars, adulterers, and all of that. The other man said, God, have mercy on me. I'm not worth anything. This one is justified. And he was saying the truth. So today, God is wanting this. God is desiring this. Reading these verses, I keep thinking to myself, I can be a bigger blessing tomorrow if I consecrate myself to God. God, help me to consecrate. My brother, there is no difficult thing for God. He said that all things are possible. 
for the for the one who all things are possible, nothing is impossible. Put this inside your heart. All is possible. There is nothing but you aren't having the capacity because you are not doing his work. You raised wicked hands. If he attends you, you will be fulminated. He needs to hide his eyes, hide his attention because he will not give it to you. What else does he say here? I will hide my eyes from you, even though you make many prayers. God, I am praying. You know that I am in need. My wife is sick. My husband is not well. My son and all of that. It's all a recording. It's a recording. It's all without speaking truly. It is not that thing. God, today I'm going to solve this. Today I want to solve this. I need to solve this. You need to change me. Change me. Show me where I am wrong. I am probably doing many wrong things. I want to be a different person today. And God will give you this condition and you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. He says very clearly here, even though you make many prayers, I will not hear why your hands are full of blood. Verse 16, wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes, cease to do evil. What does he want? For you to wash yourselves by the blood of Jesus, make yourselves clean through the anointing of the Holy Spirit, put away the evil of your th your doings from before his eyes, and cease to do evil. And there is more. Learn to do good. Look, and who is the best teacher for you not to do good? Dr. Swadis. No, the Holy Spirit, not Dr. Swadis. I'm not the best teacher for you to learn to do good things, folks. <laughs> learn to do good. Seek justice. My brother, we need to seek justice. Whatever it may cost, rebuke the oppressor. People are in a really bad situation there, selling themselves, the lady, the man, I don't know who else, doing wrong things, selling their bodies there, and you don't help them. No, you need to change your life. This is not God's will for you, no. And then the person will believe. Rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless. They don't have a father. God is still not their father, only their creator. Do justice, pray for them, invest in them, call them to church, pray for them. Plead for the widow. They don't have anyone else that supports them, but God is the sustainer. Then God tells you to come and reason with him because he will give you the complete blessing. Look at me. Who came here today to receive my prayer? I will go there because I wanted Dr. Swartis to pray for me. It is time now. Stand up and I will pray for you. Wherever you are, bow your heads and close your eyes. God will come closer to you now. My brother, it is time now. Lillian, sing to us, One thing I know, God is with me. This is very strong, my brother. God is with you, my brother. Oh, my dear sister, he didn't bring you here by chance, and neither me know. He brought us here because he wants to bless us. We also... We should not get worried too. What if something is in the way, Lillian? What are you going to do? Well done, and what about the pain? What do you know, Lillian? God is with me. Sing it. He is with you, my brother and sister. What? Continue. Continue until the end. A new opportunity has appeared for you. God is with me. What if along the way a great opposition comes? Will you give up? 
What will you do? What will you do? What about the tough pain? Good decision, Lillian. What? God is with us all, my brother. Feel the weight of these words. is true, my brother. It will pass. No doubt for all of us. For all of us. What do you know? That God is with me. What? Whatever may happen, God is with me. Always. Fill up your lungs with air, with faith, and sing now. Father, we are in prayer. Here we have people with pain, with problems, the most varied species of infirmities. Problems in the soul, sadness, anguish, lack of a will to live, depression, low self-esteem. And God, these people are praying now. Father, heal these people now. As a minister of the Word of God, I paralyze all action of the enemy in these lives. And I expel them now. And I say, disease, infirmity, distress, all evil, all of it, leave, go away. Do not oppress anymore. All evil is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. And you say, I believe. Thank you, Jesus. Look at me now, Dr. Suarez. I had to be here today. This prayer made me feel better. I am renewed now. Who is feeling renewed? This prayer made you feel better. Raise your hands like this and say, Jesus, thank you. Oh, glory to God. Who arrived here today sad, melancholic, upset? I am another person, Dr. Swadis. Just raise your hands like this. I will not ask you anything because we don't have time today. Just raise it like this. Oh, glory to God. And who? I will not ask one by one. I just want to know. Who was healed of anything in the body today? Dr. Swadis, my pain is gone. My problem is gone. My hands are opening and closing my arms. My neck is turning to the right and to the left. My knees are better. Just so that you can thank God who was healed, raise your hands like this and say, Thank you, Jesus. Do it like this. Many people, you may sit down in the name of Jesus. In a few minutes, I will say another prayer for you. Just let me tell everyone. Look, folks, Friday will be a blessed day here in Sao Paulo. At 2 p.m., I will be in Ferraz de Vasconcelos at Governor Janio Quadros Avenue. 
790 Grace of God Church. At 5 p.m. and later at 7.30 p.m., it is going to be two blessed services on Friday. At Felicia Camargo Street, 575, at the International Grace of God Church. It is the new church. And on Saturday, I will be in three meetings here with you, 9 a.m., 2 and 6 p.m., the Saturday of Wonders. And it is going to be like today. And on Sunday, we are having six meetings. I will be just on the first three at 7, 9, and 11 a.m. And then I'll go to Curitiba because I will lead a great service of wonders at Sitio Cercado. I need to go to other places too, and God is taking me. In the next month, I will go to São Luís do Maranhão. I will go to Imperatriz. I will go to Recife. I will go to Maceió. I will go to so many places that God knows in the name of Jesus, and God will bless us. And let's do God's will for the glory of God. Let's now go to the real life drama. In the name of Jesus, shall we? We got married in 73. I have always worked with construction, but then there were fewer job opportunities. Teresa was a believer, but I wasn't a believer yet. In the past, I wasn't the best person. In 1979, Teresinha and Sherlocky moved from the north of Paraná to Curitiba. Life was not easy back then. Teresa left home with a purse with her manicure tools to offer her job in the buildings. She's the one who bought food. We were living in a small place that belonged to my mother-in-law. We always had a plan to build our house. I was a bricklayer, but I couldn't find a job. Time goes by, but life remains tough. Then, in 1998, Teresinha found The Faith Show on TV. I always watched Dr. Suarez at home, and he said to write a letter to God and place it on Psalm 91 that God will fulfill your desire, so I wrote it. I just asked for a very beautiful house. I always dreamed of a house with a garage to store my car. I always liked modified cars, you know? So that was my dream. I became a sponsor at the time with 30 rands. After that, I started to increase the amount because God was blessing us more and more. He opened doors because some relatives came and brought clothes for us to sell. And we were doing very well. When God is in charge, nothing can, nothing can stop us. And she always watched Dr. Suarez on TV. And she showed him to me, but I really didn't trust him. But later I understood it. Because of Teresinha's faithfulness, the couple prospered and they were able to build the house that they dreamt so much of the way they wanted. And Sherlocky even bought a new car. Sometimes I call Teresa to show her our sidewalk and our car. <laughs> it's better than what I asked for. I asked in 99, in 2002, we were living in that house. There's nothing better than living in our own house in normal conditions. We would never have a house like that, the one we have today. In a place like this, in Curitiba, the neighborhood is very good. I was baptized in the waters five years ago. 40 years following Jesus, 20 years as a sponsor. After being baptized, Sherlocky also became a sponsor and tasted more of the power of God. And then the first war started to grow here. After that, another one on top of the first one, a small and long one. So the faith show began and he said about the cup of water. So we took a cup of water and drank the water and splashed a little on my face. Then one day, the second day, <laughs> it fell, but the other one stayed. And then some time went by and I didn't realize I was looking at the mirror, I was searching for it, I couldn't find it. It was gone, and today everything is fine. My health is perfect, thanks to God. After a while, we retired. Today we live with a retirement income, and we live very well. We help other people. We had nothing before, today we have enough to help others. Everything comes from God. Today, we live in a good house, thanks to God. I have no complaints, I'm very happy. I'm very happy, thank the Lord. Everything I have, God gave it to me by His grace, right? He is always faithful. It's worth being faithful, even more to the Almighty God that is our God. Glory to God. Let's applaud Jesus, brothers. If you have already felt that desire to be a sponsor, 
today you will have faith and will register. Because God will not keep saying to you the whole time, no. Why should I register, Dr. Suarez? I need your information so that in the last day of the month I can bless you. Only this is already enough. What remains is for you to go to the bank this week and make a deposit because we will defeat the crisis in the name of Jesus. The workers will pass die by now. And you grab it and at home, call our helpline to register. The number is 27-021-9115676. If God is speaking, don't think twice. There are people that God tells them to help with only 100 rands. Others tells them to give 200 or more, 500, I don't know. Whatever God says, if he, if he has not spoken, we do not need you to help us. But if you felt from God, help us in the name of Jesus. You are invited. And believe God will change your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. While people are making their registrations, play, play the first question because I want to answer the two questions right now. First question, will you? Doctor, I have three sons. What's the best inheritance I can leave for them? A pure faith in the gospel in the name of Jesus. It is the best inheritance as they can have. Second question. Dr. Suarez, I spoke in tongues only once in my life, and I wanted to know why. You need to talk with God and talk with your pastor. He will then pray with you. Speaking in tongues is a sign, but God does not have anything against giving this gift. No, you may seek it. Sister Eliana, what do you have of the signs of gifts? Dr. Suarez, we are here with a great release called Paul's Trajectory in the footsteps of a hero of faith in which we will learn with the life of this great man of God. This is a book written by my son that went to follow Paul's footsteps. He photographed exactly where he was almost 2,000 years ago. This is a great book for everyone. When the service ends, go, go visit Sister Liana right there beside us. And I'm sure you will be greatly blessed with the things that we have here. From anywhere, you can call our helpline. The number in Cape Town is 27021911 27021911 Or you can visit the website at ongracesouthafrica.com. Or you can call us on WhatsApp and they will send you a message. 27 0794969037. Let's now open up our hearts, shall we? Dr. Suarez, I am going through a very difficult moment. In 2015, when I finished high school, I was at my grandmother's house and I felt that there was something strange. From that day onwards, I do not have control of my emotions and actions anymore. All of a sudden, I get paralyzed, I lose my voice speak things without wanting to because the Spirit enters in me. My memory is terrible. I have already gone to church, participated in prayers, but there is no outcome. I am really sad. I feel like Jesus has abandoned me and does not like me. Please, what should I do to be victorious in this situation? I think that you should ask Him, why don't you like me? Where did I go wrong? He will say and you will then make amendments with Him if you feel this. Now, if your mind is weak, you need to surrender your heart to the Lord and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. It is the easiest thing for Jesus to deliver you. Get near him and he will deliver you. Let's go now to the Grace TV moment, shall we? My mother, she will be 94 and she's still very idolatrous. I believe that that she will become a Christian in the name of Jesus, so we will leave Grace TV turned on. She wants it, you know, because when Dr. Suari says he will pray for those who are at home, many times I have already seen her standing up and praying, you know. And another thing as well, whatever we are reading in the Bible, we show it to her and explain it, you know. The meaning of the word. It is a seed. With Grace TV, we are bringing God Himself inside our house, who visits us, always watches Grace TV. It is our favorite program. It, it's a blessing, right? Grace TV does not have immoral channels that other cable TV channels have, but we have evangelical channels that they don't have. The other channels are practically the same. We have 11 evangelical channels that will change your life. Today, you don't need to register. Get the brochure, take it home, and pray. You don't need to give your name or address. If you feel it in your heart, then contact us through our telephone here and ask for more information to register. If you don't feel it, 
throw the brochure away. I want everyone to have Grace TV at home because then there will be no space for the enemy to place bad things inside of the heads of your family in the name of Jesus. I will ask while they are handing this out for other workers to take this. Dr. Swartis, what if I want to send a prayer request for you? I have a WhatsApp here and also the information regarding social media. So then you send a WhatsApp to this number saying, Dr. Swartis, I am Mary, I am John from that place. Could you pray for me? Then I will pray for you and send you an answer. Every time that you need, you can write to us. And this paper is for free and the prayer request is for free. You can also raise your hand if you want this, but you need to be quick. If you want to take it for a cousin, a relative, for someone else, for a neighbor, you can do get as many as you want. Just send a WhatsApp here and on the top, it's like explaining how you can subscribe to YouTube. Every day I upload a message at six in the morning with a prayer for everyone for free. It's all free, folks. You will not pay anything. You can get it here now or at home later. Afterwards, you can write us and they will answer you and we will be connected. What if one day I need a prayer and say, pray for me? I will have 10 million people praying for me, okay? Everything can get this. This is a really easy way. I don't want you only say your name or else. How will I pray for Maria? I am Maria from Sorocaba. Uh, I don't know, Ma Mary Cross. Only this, pray for me, this is my problem. And we will pray for you and they will send an answer to you. So this is our WhatsApp. Then it is done. We will become WhatsApp friends. Anyone, anyone else wants this paper, folks, here? Look, quickly, I want to pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Get it now, and who who, ha, who hasn't got it here? You can get it when you are leaving. They will leave it on the sponsor's desk, and you can get it. It is for everyone to use this and be blessed. I have decided the following. Didn't God make all of these tools available? So let's use them. In the name of Jesus, let's stand up now, and we will pray in the name of Christ. Pastor Jaime will arrive in a moment, and I will pray, and then he will also pray. My brother, take a decision in your life. Seek God until you find him, because God is with you. Bow your head and close your eyes. Father, first of all, I pray for those who are at home. I rebuke all evil in the lives of these people. I expel and say, leave in the name of Jesus Christ. And now, Father, here I want your spirit truly moving.